all right welcome back trending uh rap trends rap trend the rap trend trending in rap that's what we're talking about that's the american pimp star 420 ways in a 420 400 420 degrees baby uh that's seven days a week i say that in the song blacks only so we're talking about the trends in rap and the trend where is the ball in the rap music right now um and i like i was saying i smelt this coming years ago i i, I seen it years ago like five years ago i knew i knew i was it you know i was like dang what these these cats are like they come out with they in dunks but it's like you know redunking and like overcoat the dunk you know it was like they just you know what I'm saying? It was like, uh, what am I trying to say? It was like old, you know? It was old. It was straight old. It was like, you know, now you got motorized bicycles. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody coming out with anything that ain't motorized bicycles, it's like, if it's just a regular bike, then it, it has to be like a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Or it's old. You know? So it's like, you could you can come out with as fancy bike regular bikes as you want but it's out of style now now it's the motorized bicycles so so what i'm saying is about five years ago people was rapping and it was like you know i'm the drug dealer like i'm the kingpin rap that's the way i got to the top you know what i'm saying i had like scarface like i got had a bunch of people whacked (laughs) Uh, you know, I moved a bunch of units. Uh, we moved it in a in a military uh, drug operation fashion. <laughs> uh, you know, I was stoned every minute of it. You know what I'm saying? I was tipsy every minute. I was covered in jewelry every... You know, it was Scarface. I'm Scarface, basically. I'm Scarface. Every line. I'm Scarface. What's up? I'm Scarface. What's up? I'm Scarface. What's up? Okay, okay. So it's like... You know, that was the thing. Uh, So, okay, so, okay, okay, so Obama, Obama came out, then, okay, boom, here's where the turn went. It was a legalization of pot. When people didn't say that, loudly or come out with no records saying that you know everybody who didn't live where it was legal to smoke weed at they automatically got excluded if you if you was black if you call yourself being cool or down or whatever or you call yourself a hippie or being you know being or loving weed or i love weed you know what i'm saying If you listen to mu- rap music at all, and if you wasn't tied down in some crazy, serious situation or commitment, locked up, or just couldn't get out of the state, you were supposed to move. You were supposed to move to a legal, a legal place the head recreational pot you were supposed to go there so all your stress would go away as far as the law that's like saying there was free slaves here in this state and you didn't go you were like oh well I'll just let them be free oh man Tony was just here last week now he's free yeah he, he texted me he's free now I didn't go with him can you go yeah but I, just, I don't know I just don't know man you know so whatever if you didn't live in a legal, if you do not live, I'm going to restate this for the record and remember what I'm doing here. If you don't live in a place where there's a, if you can't walk out your house down the street or get in your car and drive down the road to a place where they got pounds of weed and it's okay to walk in there, pick some, give them some money, come back to your house, smoke it, call the local law enforcement and say, I just smoked some good weed from this pot shop 
And I want to say I am so glad weed is legal. I just want to say that for the record. And they say, well, thank you. Call us when you have a problem. Serious. You have a good day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As far as we and black people is concerned, man, it's like, it's like a handshake. So if you're a rapper and you want somebody to listen to you and you smoke pot, bruh, you live in a place where you can do what I said. You can go get you some weed. If you don't, I ain't listening to you. And no one else should. Straight up. Next. Uh, if you if you ain't figured out how to be happy and carefree and get you a dollar or two in this world, in this day and age, and take you a vacation... You know, go to the beach, sit on the river, get drunk on the river, smoke weed on the beach, bonfire, meet some beautiful women, uh, <laughs> screw her and her friend. Uh, they all leave the next day. Uh, uh, you know? You go get you, get you a little money. You got your place. Get you some jewelry. You having a good time. Black people in rap music are having a good time. <clears throat> you know, I'm in the streets, but I'm still having a good time. I'm still on top of my life with God. So I'm not talking about robbing nobody or nothing like that. I'm not talking about doing nothing illegal. I'm happy because this is the end. And I said this in the church two years ago, one year ago. Um, I said this in the church that this is the end of because the ball has is back to the street with rap. It's back to the street. Uh, it started in the street, you know, hanging out on the corner, beatboxing, talking mess. That's where the word is. That's where the brothers was at. And now it's back. <clears throat> uh, I'm homeless, so to speak. Uh, that's how you would cl- categorize me. So in this day and age, that's, that's where the, the trend is at in society. Homeless people are fighting for equal rights. Uh, you know, we don't want to get a ticket every time we, you know, the police wake us up in front of some business, you know, we we don't want to get a ticket and have to pay money or be criminalized if we don't have anywhere to sleep and we go under some bridge and, you know, somebody says, hey, there's a guy under the bridge and they go under there and give us a ticket or whatever. If we want to roam the earth and, you know, get a blanket and a pillow and get in a bush somewhere, We don't want that to be a criminal thing if we are in pursuit of our own happiness. Uh, You have things like in the war in the nation, uh, the Civil War, the Vietnam War, the things that that happen to our country. This is one of the things that's happening to our country right now is people uh, having equal rights that are of all different types, sexuality, no, no violence, no intimidation, no bullying. Uh, equal, equal rights, civil rights, and homeless people or people who live on the streets or outside are is is what's happening right now in the world. Um, you can look at port in our nation. So you can look at Portland as one of the places that's been heavily discussed. And I'm in Astoria, Oregon, and so. A story is seaside. Any coastal town, like I was saying, ain't nothing not new under the sun, but this is what's in the spotlight in the news right now. So, uh, and it also lines up with the spotlight of rap. You know what I'm saying? And it also lines up with the spotlight of the brothers. You know what I'm saying? And the, the black community. And what what people should be listening to. You know what I'm saying? And what, what is the news? You know what I'm saying? Because rap 
is also another word for news. So what what is the you know who you know oh man that such and such just came out okay cool I need to get it because I know he's talking about something that I need to know you know what I mean well, let me see what he's talking about you hear that a lot <clears throat> um, and so another thing reason why the church album I said I was the pimp of the year. In the, in the album The Church because I had so many positive things going for me. Uh, one of them being um, uh, the sexuality thing. Um, the two women, you know, being with two women at once or liking two women or being single but still having sex. Uh, that's that's a part of uh, the women's... That's a part of the women's um, movement to be sexually free, and, and they are. They are now. Women have casual sex now. Uh... You know, I was I was standing outside uh, the other day, and um, this lady drove by. You know, and she was like, "Hey, sexy." I was like, "Hey," you know, like a total sexual comment. You know what I mean? To me, and I didn't feel offended. I didn't feel like a piece of meat, and she probably felt cool when she did it. You know. And I felt cool when she when I heard it. And that's what time it is. Girls are like, basically like, I'm down to fuck. You know what I'm saying? Just be cool. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, cool. Or, you know, dude's been saying that. The, the male has been saying that. Like, hey, how's it going? You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'll fuck. I'll fuck you. I'm cool. Hey, how you doing, lady? Hey, how you doing? And she's like, oh, he's coming on to me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and then the girls who would do it would be easy. And then the girls who would be like, well, I want to be serious. Or do you really like me? And then, the, you know, if he was going to bite the bullet, he might say, well, let me be serious with you. And, and not be like, hey, how's it going so much? But be like, hey, how was your day? You know, like, I'm going to be for real with you. But like today... Girls are like that. Hey, how you doing? You know, like I'm ready to be. I'm ready to fuck because, are you cool? You know, are you gonna be cool? Hey. So, we're in the time now of a sexual revolution, to where girls and women are having sex and being free to have sex. And not be tied down to no commitment, no string attached to sex. Like, sex is is like after the kiss, good night. If you're, if if it goes that far, so. Um. You know, and before, you know, a girl might make you wait for. I mean, sure, there still are. Sure, there's still some guys. AC Green. <laughs> But, um, cause like ain't nothing new under the sun, just the trend. You feel me? Where the spotlight set is on these girls who are saying, Hey, if a dude, dudes have been sleeping with us and leaving us since when, you know, it's happening. It's probably going to keep happening. So now some girls are cool with that right they're not they don't want you to sleep with them and leave them but they're like if it happens i'll bounce back you know and sometimes i was glad it didn't last you know because he the dude you know what i'm saying i would i didn't want to be with him or she was like or he was like i didn't really want to you know what i'm saying she i'm speaking from the girl's perspective now so i forgot <laughs> but she may be like i'm glad we just screwed you know and now he's on to something else, and she's on to something different. 
So the spotlight is now on the girls who are um, in that region of being dumped or like being screwed and left, you know. You know, they're going to screw you and leave you now. So, like, that's an option. And it's, you know, it's in songs and stuff, too. It's on TV. People are making movies about it. It's trending now. So that also overlaps with the pimp mentality. But if you look in rap, the pimps never really shine. You know what I'm saying? It's been time for the pimp to speak, but... He put his son up in Lil Wayne. You know, the guy who was the top dog, he let his son start rapping. Because he didn't, I guess the pimp didn't want to rap about how he got the money and all this and that. And how he's running the game on these people. So his son's rapping about, I'm spending the money here, I'm going on this trip here. And, uh, you know, I, my daddy got money and this and that. And, and my gang got money because of this dude. <clears throat> You know, and then Pimp C was supposed to shine and talk about the top dog spot, but then he he was no more. So and then like I came out, I was like, Well damn, I moved when you were supposed to move to the weed. I've been rapping and making music. It's like I'm talking about I'm older, I'm forty three. I'm talking about being on top, you know what I'm saying? I really I'm on top of the age, so it's like the church came out, you know, I made a statement, you know, so I was thinking that I'm going to get a deal and it's going to go go around the world. Um, you know, but money is not the reward. You know what I'm saying? For the brothers. Uh, the Bible says that and God will fill your account. You know, if you follow, follow him, he'll, he'll fill your account. You know, but I came up, you know, <clears throat> looking at money as like the sign of like success. You know what I'm saying? But it's not as comfort. It's like, it's, it's perfection. It's wisdom. It's, it's having perfect balance. You know, it's when you got, got, got it together. You know what I'm saying? And it's flowing. So the honey's flowing, you know. So, uh, you know, that's also why, you know, and, and I had, you know, I was with, <laughs> you know, I've been with multiple women, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll throw this in because I don't know. I ain't going to do it. But, you know, I'm, I'll throw it in there since I said it. You know, I, I, I used to, you know, I saw a movie, Knock Around Guys, you know, and a dude, Bing Rams, he was like... <laughs> great scene he was like uh 500 you know <laughs> he was like in my my town you had to have 500 fights under your belt before you could you know like take it easy and, and not have to like you know so you could sleep at night and be like man i, I did it you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and um so uh you know I told myself, because I, I wasn't fighting people, I was fucking girls. So I was like, well, shit, I'm going to fuck 100 girls. I was like, and, and then that way I could say that I'm a real player, you know. This was when I was 20 or something, you know, around that age. I was like, I'm going to do, I'm going to get 100. <laughs> so I, I passed that many years ago. And, um, you know. Uh, that that was that's because I wanted to be a player, you know what I'm saying? I, I I got raps about that, wanting to be a player, but really being a pimp, you know. And that goes again with the pope pimping, and it is the culture of pimping, you know, the culture of of uh, being on top, basically, as a, as a mentality, you know what I'm saying? Like the boss man, but like I'm saying, the church that came out in 2021, Christmas Eve, I believe. 21 or 20 21 I believe um, that marked the end of of the trend with the brothers with rap 
uh, uh, the ball ain't in our court no more. It is with me because I'm surprised that I'm still the one. You feel me? Like I'm, you know, you you ever, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm like, man, the trend must be the truth. You know what I'm saying? The trend must be trending true. <clears throat> it must be trending true. You know, it must be enough fake jury out there. So. You know what I'm saying? So, on the West, legal weed, girls kissing each other and me at the same time. Me rapping about it on record. Me me being on the top dog level the pimp with the pimp thing, pimp rap. in the pit vipers, in the grinding camos, <laughs> so homeless, in the middle of the woods, retired, you feel me, I ain't got no bills because I'm surviving on my own, but I'm living nice, in a comfort zone, in a balance, God protected me, I'm free, that's my point, I'm a free man, I don't got nobody lording over me, No, no landlord, no no, nobody coming by to collect for protection. I, I could sleep in the bed all year and wake up and eat and shit and go back and lay down. Praise God. I'm free. I'm retired. I'm free. I'm a free man. I do what I want to do by the glory of God. So I'm not working at no job and then coming back and rapping that I'm I'm taking a trip next week. You know what I'm saying? I saved up my money and now I'm going on vacation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm surprised that the trend is still here because I I look out in the in the rap world and I online of the industry. I look at the industry and I see I see that. It looked like some Scarface gang war, like big bosses shooting at each other, like who's who's the bigger boss, you know what I'm saying? When I already know that that's a death trap because none of them cats are valid. And you already know why, because they ain't on the West. That's all in the South. They all down there in the South acting up for some fame, getting drawn into some into a defense mechanism. You need to leave the South and go to a legal state. If you can't because you're on paper or you can't, that's one of the part of the problems of, of, you know what I'm saying, of overcoming, of overcoming. So, So, already off top, off the meat, man, if you ain't on the West, man, you're not in this conversation. That's one right there. Now, how many people you know that don't live out here? Already then, there you go. Start chopping. Start start the cut. You know what I'm saying? That's as many people that don't matter to rap right now. If you see these people... In your face on TV, on the radio, you know, they just having a good time and it might be a cool song. But as far as what they saying and what matters, that's like uh, somebody who didn't win the NFL championship. After the NFL game, their whole team gets up there and then you interview them. Oh, well, what do you think about this? And what do you think? Well, oh, well, I thought it meant. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? People you could talk to that don't matter. <laughs> they don't matter. You want to talk to the winners over here, the people who have played the game. So, y'all don't matter, man, if you're not on the West, bro. Straight up. That's what it is. You got to smoke weed, man. Because of weed. Weed shops. 
So that's one. Two, you got to be talking about that P. You got you to gotta be at one with God. You feel me? That's where we at. Straight up. You got to be at one with God, dog. You got to be real. You got to be real, dog, for real. You got to tell the world what you do to get ahead, you feel me, on your shoulders. You got to tell the world what you do to be straight. You got to be one within, you know. The Matrix, that came out. <clears throat> like I say with the B.O.B. cat, he was speaking, speaking the, the mathematics. Uh, you know, Bruce Lee, he came out. Uh, MLK, Malcolm X, uh, Gandhi, all these, man, all these people that came out already, man. So common, he rapping with a bald head, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a joke. But you got to be at a point. Master P, look at that man. That man standing up like he ain't got nothing to hide. I know he do, but what I'm saying is that he got it together. He, that's his image. I got it together. And damn, look at the name, Master. I got it together. So you got to have it together. And it's got to be for real. You got to be righteous. That's what that means. And that's the P. You got to be righteous, man. So you got to be on that P tip. You got to be speaking the truth. And it's going to make you a damn pimp, I promise, because you can make you a king, priest, and kings. You know what I'm saying? You got to be righteous. So, West, the P talk. Because of the sexual revolution. Three, I, I think this is going to be the lane into the next trend. <clears throat> Which is, I see, I see the trend going to schools, youngsters in schools, 14-year-olds. 15 year olds heck some cats may bam at 13 13 year olds out there hunting you know spitting that game you know what i mean rapping on it she was a cutie you're sitting there with a booty with a doobie i was rolling with a doobie who knew me not many but screw me i was with a doobie she was rolling you know what i'm saying like youngsters that's open-minded and ready to go to school Take a break, like when you work, you take a break with the employees, you take a lunch break together, talk shit, where you're going to go to school, go on lunch break, it's going to go back to the beat hitting on the table, but the swag, man, y'all got to take it, y'all got to bring that swag in, that young swag again, to where it's out of the street, you feel me, because I'm in the street, like I said, you said somebody's homeless, that's really a traveler which is really somebody is on the road because you wasn't born and put there at some point you got kicked out and said i'm hitting the road and and what is the road the road is the street so if you on the street that means you are street you're gonna learn the tricks of the trade how to get along on the street and and in the street um earlier I got I got the uh, the glasses I got the the PVs right earlier today. Uh, I walked out and I barked real loud because to show the owner you know the the sunglass place appreciation that I bought his sunglasses from. I'm like I'm happy I'm very happy thank you for selling them to me. I, I walked out and I was like barked real loud oh yeah about ten yards away old school turned around you hollering at me. He he must have been out of his mind. <laughs> I know he was out of his mind. <laughs> he said, you hollered at me. I turned around and looked at him. I said, and trying to defuse it. Because I knew he was lit. I was like, I just got some lit sunglasses. I'm happy. And, I, and then I seen he was still trying to hustle me. He was like, what? And I was like, nice hat. And then I told him he had a nice hat. And I was like, it's a gangster. He was like, what do I look like a gangster? You, do you? I ain't no dang gangster. I was like, dang, I said the wrong thing to old school. <laughs> so, 
So I was like, no, I mean, it's a nice hat. I was like, I was like, he was like, you can't find this online. And I was like, who? I got it out. I was like, I was like, yeah, right. I was like, well, you have a good one, man. And I took off. <laughs> what I learned from being in the street is that uh, bad attitudes is a part of it, man. Like people being pissed off people looking at you and giving you all their bad energy that's like a part of it you know uh and before i before i was out here i used to think that was like oh somebody had a problem with me you know what i'm saying or or something like that but no nah, man you know what i'm saying it's it's where you at so so you learn to accept it you know what i'm saying and i did you know what i'm saying uh, you know it's like it's like being with a buddy and he hits you in the arm real hard. You know what I'm saying? It's like, or somebody grabs on the top of your head after you brushed it real good, messes it up, and like, what's up? You know? It's like, come on, you know they they ain't expecting. They're not calling you a punk bitch when they do it, and 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 you ain't expecting to have a brawl be with blood everywhere. Somebody probably getting a brain hemorrhage from from that. You know what I'm saying? So. Some people are rough and tough, and that's that's one thing I see. Uh, you got a lot of rough and tough people in the street. <clears throat> um, and it makes you tough, too, you know. It makes you understand, you know what I mean? Um, one guy, I, I'm, I'm getting a lot off topic, but uh, one guy, I was hanging out, and he would hit me in the head, like, in the ear, like, flick my ear, like, you know, push me a little bit, play fight or whatever. And it pissed me, it would piss me off. So then I started playing play fight with him. And after I opened up and I whined, you know, and loosened up a little bit and exercised, hit, he hit me and, you know, we ran around a little bit. I felt better, you know. I felt better. I felt like I had got something off my chest or whatever. So it was just, it's the same thing, you know, old school giving me banner or somebody pushing up on me, you know, oh, oh, you this way or that way, so screw you, I'm going to fight you. It's like, I don't even know you, first of all. If I did, you think I want to fight you? No, so you're not being considerate. Third, it's like there's a thing you learn, it's like just to survive, you know, and to protect yourself. And that is all part of knowledge and 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 what is the word and what is game and what is rap so you know uh, the game is over because girls are talking about pimping and you can't do that because a dick ain't a pussy so if a girl is talking about I'm your pimp or I'll be pimping these girls out or I'll be pimping dudes out or I'm pimping anything out, it's because it's somebody behind that person with a penis that's feeding this monster. Because you can't be a female and be a pimp unless unless you copy the pimping and it ain't really pimping you know what I'm saying unless you copy it through embellishment and saying hey look at me I'm a pimp too or like if you if I'm walking down the street see Bozo the Clown and then I go buy some makeup and I look like Bozo now and then I go out say hey look I'm Bozo now you know that's what you see in rap these girls i'm pimping this i'm pimping that i'm a, i'm the pimp you know what i'm saying it's a pimp out there what you did you looked at him and you went and got the bozo makeup the pimp makeup and put it on and now you're like hey, look i'm a pimp look y'all you know he's the real pimp because he came up with the style and he he got beat up for looking like that you know that you never will or never did you know 
he ran from people who didn't like what his mind had to produce. You feel me? So it's like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh uh-uh. uh. You ain't never, you ain't ever gonna find yourself in a position to where you're overcoming a woman sexually damn i've been talking for 35 minutes all right i'm gonna cut this and get to the next one and we are talking about trends in rap and the trend in rap currently 2022 this is august all right american pimp stop 420